Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's all I would do the whole time. I'd go up to each let's go to my channel here. No, we need the chat. Yeah, let's pop out the chat. No, we need the chat. Yeah, let's pop out the chat. No, we need the chat. Yeah, let's pop out the chat. All right. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. This stream is brought to you by water. All right, the mic's a little loud. Let me turn that down. Let me turn the game down a little on my Blue Yeti microphone, which I learned, by the way, uh, is not a good microphone for rap. But maybe we're going to buy a good microphone for rap. Uh, so that's something we can look into today on this stream. But that's not really what we're here for. Uh, we got stuff to do. No, what happened to my mic? Does this have history? Can I get my Safari history on my iPhone? I Googled it last night. Yo, we'll wait for people to get in here, but I got something for you boys. Uh, history, history, history. How do I find history? Oh, yo, what's up? Who's got a sandwich? What sandwich are you looking at? I wish I had a sandwich. Um, Safari history on iPhone. Open the Safari app. Top the book icon at the bottom of the screen. Pull down the history menu. How do normal people use this thing? Oh, here we go. Things I Googled last night. Demi Lovato's overdose and Ambien. Uh, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a TLM 102. So apparently this is a much better microphone uh, for rap, and I should buy one. What up, fam? We got viewers? Oh, not Amazon. Copal. Can I buy a TLM 102? Yeah. Oh, look. Here. On Prime, I can get it with a shock mount. Do I need a shock mount? I don't know if I need a shock mount. Um, I also need an interface. What's a shock mount? Quality microphone shock mount. What? Well, I mean, this just seems like a bundle scam, you know? Doesn't seem particularly. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be here for a while, though. I hate waiting. Don't they know I hate waiting? Do I want a black one or a nickel one? I like nickel. We'll go with nickel. It's not a free mic cable. That's a scam. I can get the... Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, and I also need a Scarlet 2i2. Yeah, this thing. Third gen USB auto interface with Pro Tools. Wait, does it come with Pro Tools? People know I don't pay for software. Uh, I do need a cable. Is this ca oh, that's a reasonable price for a cable. Number one bestseller. All right. Perfect. All right. I think this shit is going to take my wrap to the next level. What do y'all think? Uh, I assume this thing can power microphones. I can do like phantom power. Power. No external power required. Like, I just don't know if this power is a microphone. I don't know. Uh, let's just Google them together and see what I get. TLM 102, uh, not that. This map is, a, this mic is amazing. The raw wrap and RB, okay. Plus I'm working with a focus right, even without proper soundproofing, give your voice a little bass. Oh. So I think this guy just plugged it in. Oh, he bought the shock mount. Do I need a shock mount? Do 
Well, that looks pretty pro, don't you think? Is like a special one made for it or? Um... You have the Scarlet, you like it? Wait, you like this Shure microphone better? Oh, I've seen these. Yeah, I don't know. Um, actually, I think a shock mount would have fixed one of the bugs on one of my songs. But I don't know if that's worth it. Like, why is this one so much cheaper? Look, I can buy one from Egg Snow. What, what, what do people usually buy with this? Hmm, see, that shows a picture with a shock mount. This includes the stand mount. I have a pop filter. I have a pop filter on this mic. You, know, you guys are always complaining about my sound quality. We're about to take it up a notch. What's the best multi-purpose condenser microphone? Oh, cheap crap because people are poor. You know my thoughts on, on that. Mm. Wow. A good shock mount looks very expensive. Maybe I do want to buy it with the shock mount then. It's shock mount MT. But this is this a cheap shock mount or is this a good shock mount? How am I supposed to know? Oh, well, a lot more people bought this one. Instrument condenser microphones. Here we go. No, I know the audio is fine. Look, it's not for you guys, man. It's for my rap career, you know? You know how you guys want to buy keyboards because you want to be better programmers, but like the problem is actually, you know, your programming ability. See, like I can't rap, but if I buy a $800 microphone, it's going to make me a better rapper. Do you see what I'm saying? Y'all understand? All right, good. As long as, as long as we're on the same page here. That's a lot of good ratings. I don't know. Does this one have good ratings? Oh, this one is even better ratings. Wow, and it comes with a case. Wait, that looks like it comes with a shock mount. No, it doesn't though. Oh, it comes in that box. Why don't they have a picture of the box for that? I don't know, I shouldn't be doing this on stream, guys. I just, you know. Uh, I just, I just got a, got a, uh, Yo, but okay, because I just dropped a new song this morning. I went to the studio last night in LA. Uh, you know, just, you guys did my new song. Check it out on my SoundCloud. <laughs> it's obvious in retrospect Stories make up history Learn them all in school But never learn them made by you and me Where is the world from? And where will the world go? They take up all your time And then they manage your decline Band, this is literally my song. I have the rights to it.
with yourself about the world you cannot save. And if there's reasons for still trying or just hopelessly embracing the decay. And like we all went in the studio and screamed. Keep crying your heart out. We're all gonna die now. We're all gonna die now. Keep crying your heart out. We're all gonna die now. We're all gonna die now. Uh, do I take modafinil? I hate when you guys want to talk about drugs, man. Yeah. Wait, so do I... No, the interface is fine. What do you mean? The interface doesn't really matter. Um, do I need this shock mount? I don't think I do. Well, I'm not putting a shock mount. What does this even do? Why do I need a shock mount? Shock. Uh, yeah, so everyone, you know, check out my song on, on SoundCloud. Yo, give me some likes on SoundCloud. Give me some give me some views on SoundCloud. Yo, it, yeah, you know, I want to be a famous rapper when I grow up. And, uh... Um... Oh, I see. Is, this, is that, I don't know, that's the same shit. Yeah, I'll just buy that one. Uh, cool. Retired hacker. Yo, you know how my streams are always brought to you by drinks? This stream is brought to you by water. Look at that, water. It's brought to you by water. Nah, that's a lie. It's brought to you by Lemon Spindrift. Yeah, well, I bumped into my desk. You can actually hear it on Civil War. Um, and it kind of, I didn't like that in the recording. All right, uh, what else do I need? I need like a desk mic stand. This seems good. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna be sick with my shotgun. All right, cool. Uh, oh man, I did this in I did this in Safari. We'll order this later. But yo, we got we got some fire. All right, I'm on a shopping cart. I can get minimized. Um, the song's called "Die Now." Uh, yo, I was in the studio with some mad talented people. Like you know how like I got programming skills. These people got music skills, man. Uh, I, I, was, I was just, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I love skills, man. I love, I love seeing skills and like. But yeah, make sure, make sure, you give me likes and views on SoundCloud. Uh, I appreciate you, and you know, always. Uh, if you want to see more streams, subscribe to the channel. I was feeling a little poor this month, so I decided I'd come back on Twitch and stream for you, bros. All right, I'll be back. I go do something.
bros. Imagine that sound, but no, it was a Sig Mike Studio, man. Yo, big head on the beat. Big head's mad chill. Uh, Alright, right, this is not what we're here to talk about today. Uh, you should have listened to my sound, uh, my, my song, and you should all like me on, on SoundCloud. That's true, but that's not here what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about Tiny Grad. Um, I don't need to maximize this, I can minimize this. Alright, cool. I need to look at myself. Uh, this guy reached out to me on LinkedIn. I know LinkedIn is a cesspool. It's a complete. Yo, I read something on Hacker News this morning about LinkedIn, and it like summarized why like LinkedIn is full of like degenerate bullshit, and how you can like pwn LinkedIn by not giving a fuck. And that's the truth, man. You want to be famous on LinkedIn? Go on LinkedIn and like just you know, you know how some people get face tats. I said I wasn't gonna do rants today. You know, some people get face tats to make themselves unemployable. Like, just go on LinkedIn and, like, talk about how you're going to use it as a dating platform. You know, that's, like, the modern face tats for that different kind of career, right? Like, you can get face tats and work at Starbucks, you know? Certain type of people can't work at Starbucks, right? That's, that's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So, how do you make yourself unemployable in the modern era? That is commitment because you're putting, you're staking something, you know? Uh, uh, why do I stream? I forgot that I hate all of you. Okay, so are you guys familiar with Tiny Grand? I'm on the Risk branch right now. Uh, so, you know, risk is the, like, I think that's a good name for if you're going to make an AI chip, like risk architecture is going to change everything, right? And it's a risk chip. Like, I got a risk card, you know? It's like risk, like the board game. Um, and like our slogan is risk architecture is going to change everything. I think that would be, I think that would be a cool, uh, I don't hate all of you, man. Only some of you, only the noobs, man. If you're a subscriber, I like you more than the other people. So, you know, subscribe and I just like you more. All right. Um... Yeah, I think like that's a good slogan. Like risk architecture is going to change everything. I think about it. I think about it a lot of times. Well, so fuck NVIDIA, right? And like, here's the problem with the AI space, right? When you look at there's training accelerators and there's inference accelerators, right? And let's see if I can. All right, we'll, we'll use data to prove my point. Um, market for training and inference. AI. Like I saw a graph. Um, yeah, it's like this kind of stuff, right? I, I saw an even an even more brutal graph of it. But the the problem is in AI, the edge market, the inference market, is projected to be larger than the training market. Uh, so. Every little fuck with an AI chip company builds these edge chips, right? Like you want to see some little fucks with a with an AI chip company? It's like, oh, it's the Google Coral. Oh, what's the new one? Halio, Halio AI. Oh, the world's top performing edge AI processor. You know what the problem is? Nobody wants to build training AI processors, right? Like Ken's Torrance, another one of these. Um, yo, but Jim is cool, and don't count him out, man. Jim's a cool guy, and like, look, I, you know, this is this is like what we're talking about. I'm like, yo, you got to make PCIe cards for sale. Let's get notified, right? My name is George Hotz. My email is geohot at gmail.com. My organization is Comma AI. I want to buy card. I buy card when you make buy it now button. All right, cool. Um, yeah, because we got to have like buy it now buttons because this is like a coming soon, but at least it has a price and that is key. Uh, but either way, all those little fucks are trying to make edge AI um, because they look at this graph and, you know, because everything's like a financial asset today. Uh, here we go. Look. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, strategic US. Oh, look, the AI inference market's bigger than the AI training market. So we should all go after the inference market. It's also easier. Would you believe that? Easier market and bigger. But what you're not taking into consideration is that there's a hundred fucks making little inference chips that nobody wants. And there is one making training chips. I mean, all right, you can buy A100s if you're a sucker, or you can buy 3090s, which are like A100s, but but cheaper. Um, sorry, NVIDIA. Everyone knows it's true. Uh, well, you can't actually buy them because they're out of stock everywhere, but hypothetically, if you could buy them, they are great training cards. Uh, and they have these tensor cores. I spent a little time just taking some notes on uh, NVIDIA and how these things work, right? So they're 3D matrix multipliers. Um, the original tensor core on the Volta could multiply two four by four matrices in one clock cycle. So you know, four by four matrix is gonna be, um, that's 32 flops, I think, right? Is that, not, not, actually, that's not right, hang on. Let me work it out. Uh, no, so if it's multiplying two four by four matrices, it's four times four times four, it's four cubed, right? It's and cubed for matrix multiplication, that's one of the questions I asked. So it's 64 uh, FMAs, and then that's 128 flops uh, per, per, per cycle. Uh, so then the A100 has these bigger tensor cores, and they created this cool data type called TF32. And my theory is TF32 is all you need for anything and we're gonna have to confirm that theory. But if you're gonna make a training chip, I would make it natively support uh, TF32, which is a 19-bit float. Oh, 19 bits, how am I gonna fit in my RAM? You're building your own RAM, bro. Like, you don't have to, you gotta think outside the, 60, the 16 and 32 box, you know? Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I would use this TensorFlow, and then I like I like NVIDIA's uh, like a lot of companies are putting 2D arrays on their chip. Um, you know, we can we can add a few notes for the Tesla chip. Uh, so the Tesla chip is a 96 by 96. I mean, this, like Tesla is pretty good about. It. I didn't realize there were two NPUs on that. That's pretty cool. It's in one chip. Yeah, so it's interesting. Um, something to look at is like how many uh, tops per watt. So these are around the two Helios claiming three. Uh, but yeah, so this is like what it looks like. 96 by 96 array. Uh, and then to figure out, I think that's just 96 squared is that number, right? Yeah, cool. And they have 128 MIB of SRAM. What's an MIB? Why do they say MIB? That's gonna be men in black, isn't it? Yeah. Um, MIB versus MB. A mebibyte. Oh, that's a scam. Everyone knows a megabyte's actually that. You know, words aren't what people say words are. Words are just whatever people use. Uh, that's weird. I don't really get why it looks like that, but um, either way, yeah, this is the Tesla. Uh, chip has 64 megs of SRAM. So the chip um, so we'll have four slots and like the four slots are so you can do like input weight uh, output uh, empty and then like on the next one, you can put like the weights here and this becomes the input, 
this becomes the output, and this is empty, right? Like so on and so forth. So then, like this becomes the input. And Like it kind of like cycles around, but you see what I'm saying. So if you have four slots, you can continually do matrix multiplies. Uh, so the thought, what does it say? 16 by 32 ALU. 16 by 32 by 32 ALU. So 16 times 32 is 512. Times another 32 is 16384. So this would actually be. Uh, three, two, seven, six, eight flops at one gigahertz. That's uh, gigahertz like that or like that. Yeah, uh, equals uh, thirty-two tops. Now the question is, um, <coughs> how much faster will this card train than Nvidia? I think one of the missing keys on a lot of these cards is that you can't access the SRAM in like a fully strided way. So let's write a little uh, simulator for our risk processor. I have already written my risk matmol instruction and then like we're gonna write a matmol wrapper which is gonna uh, uh, be able to multiply big matrices instead of just the ones that fit in my tiny uh, alien. Actually, it's not a... No, that's not a, okay. I, I said this wrong. This that's the ALU. Uh, yeah. So the guy I've been working on this with is uh, I, I shouldn't really say anything about him. I don't know if he wants to be on my stream, mentioned on my stream, but you know I can mention vague stuff. Yeah, he he knows a lot of stuff about like how to build these chips, and it's cool. Um, so my job is to figure out how fast this is actually going to be. And one of the cool things about TinyGrad is it makes all that easy. So that's why we're back in TinyGrad. I don't know, man. I got my song stuck in my head, you know? Keep crying your heart out. We're all gonna die now. We're all gonna die now. Uh, so like, I mean, this is what I was looking at so far. These one-by-one -one comms. Um, all these papers are coming out now where people are using visual transformers. And like a visual transformer is just a weird way people reinvented confidence. Um, and then like the confidence have these one by one comms, which are just a weird way that people reinvented like, you know, dense layers kind of. Uh, it's a dense layer, but you weight share across like the X and Y dimension and obviously across the batch dimension. So you can see that here. This doesn't even work with multiple batches. But. Uh, and then the other thing that we have to do is we have to get these like, okay. So do you guys understand what I mean by a fully strided SRAM? It's like I can do things like load address stride x, and stride y. Uh, and then stride x is going to be, this is the 16. Stride y is the 32. And I think we'll have like registers. I think we have to have registers. And instead of registers, I could just have like, it loads like the input to the, uh, let's say target. So I can load like into the, uh, the ALU or into the Matmal engine. Um, so it seems like targets include uh, Matmal input, uh, Matmal weights 0 to 16, uh, Matmal weights 16 to 32, uh, ALU, and like maybe permute. So we've got five targets, so that's going to require uh, three bits. We can probably fit right, three bits. We can fit three more. Uh, 
Um, so, okay. The idea is to build an accelerator that works with TinyGrad. Now, building an accelerator that works with PyTorch is really hard. And a lot of these companies have done it, but they've done it through translation layers. And translation layers are never really going to be fast. They're also never going to be upstreamed. So you have to like install some custom shitty fork of PyTorch to use their thing, and you know, it's just a nightmare, right? But if you're using TinyGrad, like, I don't think it's that much harder to code things in TinyGrad than PyTorch. And it's also much easier to add accelerator support, right? If we can support these 14 operations, um, we should be able to, to not just uh, do inference on neural nets, but also to train neural nets. And that's another key thing about this strided stuff. Like, you don't really care about an access that looks like this. I mean, okay, so you can imagine like, so this is a load 512, right? It's loading 512 elements. And all of these things are elements. So it's, uh, you know, all in elements, uh, AKA T float 32. So each of these, when I say 512, I don't mean 512 bits, I mean 512 of these floats, right? So like you can imagine just a load 512 that doesn't have these strides and that would have to load contiguous from SRAM. But if you have two matrices and you wanna multiply them, well, this only works if they are oriented in one certain way. You're gonna have to like pre-transpose your weight matrix, right? But if you're doing a normal matrix multiplication, which is like this row times this row, you're gonna have to access strided. Uh, so I, I think that this instruction is key. Now, obviously, the save works the same way. And you can apparently do this. This apparently doesn't add any cost, except that you need a different address decoder for each of these 512 elements, which costs a little bit of power, but totally worth it. Well, you got to the different types of hardware AI accelerators. I mean, I might be talking shit. I don't know that much about this space. Can I buy any of these? Like I can buy that microphone? Oh, no, this is stupid. What's a VPU? This is a marketing term. It's not a real thing. I mean, oh, oh it's not a graphic processing unit. It's a vision processing unit. Um, there's this FPGA that, uh, let me see, actually, I should, I should add this note. Let's see, call like this, like S5G FPGA. So maybe I like Acronics. Oh yeah, here we go, Acronics, yeah. They make this cool PCIe card. Yeah, this one. There's some like stupid name for it. Here we go. Uh, so the idea would be to implement on this card. All right, and if we could get a 32 op unit on this card. Okay, so the other idea is this. So these instructions, instead of, when you look at like the Apple MPU, which I was looking at, it uses, um, it has almost like a custom DMA engine and you have to like poke registers and stuff. The idea would be to design a processor that has these instructions, right? And then you can use all the normal niceties of processors like, you know, pipelining and look ahead and whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, so this would be a RISC-V uh, processor that just has a bunch of extra instructions. Um, yo, we're getting likes on the song. We gotta get likes. Oh, we're getting likes, we're getting likes. Fire, sir. Yeah, we gotta get likes. We gotta get likes and views on the song. Let's go. Everybody shill the song. Um, who is Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise is my rap name. With two zeros. That's inspired by James Dean with two E's. I was originally going to be Tom Cruise with two O's, but my friend was like, bro, zeros. 
And he was Goose. Goose with two zeros. That's a cool name. Goose with two zeros. Um, yo, typing test, you're lucky you're a Prime subscriber. I'd ban you right now. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, so actually... Let's just like implement this in like a stupid way then. Four x in zero to thirty-two. address uh, address plus equals stride y do underscores let's first work on getting a map while working So this is like effectively what the uh, what the load looks like. Uh, you guys see what I'm saying, right? So it's like that's like the this is the load instruction. Write this. Actually, maybe I should just write it in like stupid way like this. Actually, so it's not really.
can just write this, can't I? If we're really making a simulator for this processor, we have something called SRAM. I could write this like whole. registers. If we're really building a simulator for this machine, right? with these targets. So we can say target, map all, input. How do I do Python, you know? It's real class. equals zero, map mall weights low equals one, map mall weights high equals two, value equals three, and I don't know, commute. <coughs> Seems good, right? to make the reg file. How do I iterate through an enum? For t and target reg file. Reg file set t plus np zeros. Um, actually, I could do this and then not do that. Work. Are commas like that in Python? It's not even running that code. Uh, okay, let's, let's refactor this a little. Let's put it in extra. Extra, we'll call it risk.py.
So we're building effectively a simulator for this this architecture. We're doing test-driven development, boys. Uh, how do I test Python unit test? You know, you think I should like know how to do this? Let's just read the test in tiny drive. I don't actually know how to program. It's all a lie. Keep crying your heart out. We're all gonna die now. We're all gonna die now. Test driven development, boys. Okay. Um, we're going to create two random size arrays. Let's say something like. Random, so that makes it also be that random that uniform. Make them like random sizes. Of course, we want to multiply them. The inner dimensions have to match. All right, then we can say something like uh, okay, we also have risk DMA, uh, which is something like. ARR dot reshape minus one and uh, SRAM sub address. Right. Okay. Uh, let's get a D type on here so they're not shitty. Uh, No, why, why would anyone ever want to? All right, so we're just going to um, do a certain test. Well, it looks like stupid like unit test thing, but this isn't there. And we got testing this at all close. Uh, oh, actually, these things go in risk map mall. Writing risk instruction, we'll just say risk I. Yo, how we doing? Yo, yo, keep the likes coming, man. Keep the likes coming. Let's go.
No, no, I got, uh, we were gonna, the stream needs a moderate amount of pasta. Oh, what is that? Unmatched shit. Uh, okay. Uniform got an unexpected argument, D type. S type. Could not broadcast bullshit. Put array. Um, what? But I printed. Oh, I print two. Why is it two? Is that not what MP? Oh, this is like some other stupid parameter, isn't it? Oh, size. That's fine. Um, Something's just not working. Oh, because that's returning none. Um, all right, let's just uh, make a quick function called uh, slot equals lambda x x times one two four times one two four. Remember when I was talking about the slots before? I mean, it's just an abstraction. You don't actually need it, but. Uh, wait. We have DMA R and DMA W. Uh, so this is read from the DDR, and this is write from the DDR. Keep. Crying your heart out. Uh, we have to know the size, and the size is going to be x dot shape. So, eh. shape. And then mp. What is it? Mp dot prod. Building a risk processor, man. Risk architecture can change everything, boys. Uh, return. All right. Now, as you can see, my map malls, of course, uh, doesn't work. Um, because we didn't actually write any map malls. Okay. So we've DMA'd a uh, copy. Uh, matrices, matrices. It's not spell, right? Is it? Matrices into SRAM. Uh, copy back from SRAM. Uh, do mammal. Okay. So. I'm glad you liked 5 a.m. in Silicon Valley. Yeah, I worked hard. I like that one. 27 and never grown. What you mean? Do you have at the top and you're less alone? All the pressures and the headaches. You wake up and feel great. Nah, you stagnate. You flip the shit when you're over two minutes late. If you used to make fun of fat people when your BMI is overweight, I sort of feel like I'm out of place.
Yo, you know, I say don't be poor. Also, don't be fat, you know? Like, I don't know who's telling you the shit's not in your control, but it is. But poor, you don't understand. I'm poor. You don't understand. I'm fat. Well, like, stop doing those things, man. That's the truth. That's the truth. Who's saying the truth these days? Batman. That's who's saying the truth. Where's Batman at? Batman can tell the truth. Nah, I don't know, man. Batman probably has, like, political considerations to take into consideration. Don't be mean. Like, it's not like, don't, like, it doesn't give you an excuse to be a dick to somebody because they're fat or poor. But, like, I'm talking about you as an individual taking responsibility for your life. Yeah, motivational shit. Yeah. Mm. Um, you know, I've been, I've been like not fat, but I've been more overweight, and like, you know, man, you, this is just like why, you know, you gotta like start eating better, man. You know, stop eating like pasta and drinking sugary drinks and shit, you know. But that's what I do. I don't know, man. I don't know. Just don't be fat, uh, and have skills, and don't be poor. Those three, three, damn, if everyone just follows three pieces of life advice, yeah, uh, no, I'm just making a chip for fun, boys, I'm making a chip for fun, you know, hey, look, if Tesla makes a chip, don't you think Congress should make a chip, should make a chip? Um, you know what? Let's start with something easy. Let's start with matrices that are 1632. All right, and then we should be able to just do this one by hand. It's not even return, it's out equals that. And then what we want to say is, oh, I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking fourth dimensional A. Sky store five twelve. We'll store it in slot two. Oh, we need strides. We can do zero. Oh, no, not zero. Sorry. Let me just add defaults for the strides. Uh, oh, so this isn't exactly right. This isn't actually what I want. This is what I 
I thought probably being insanely slow in Python, because Python is bullshit. We'll deal with writing a JIT for our CPU later. Seems good, huh? Should be okay. Looks like I did H stack wrong. Yeah, I did H stack wrong. Oh, B stack. Here we got that V stack. Look, the test passes, boys. We did it. Oh, this is kind of anticlimactic. It just passed. Yeah, it's tiny grad's gonna run on an ASIC. But we first have to simulate the ASIC. And I think that's TMUX. But they're really the same program. How are we doing on SoundCloud likes? I love likes because they give me validation, you know? Oh man, 37 likes, wow, we can get some more likes on here. Let's go, let's go boys. Um, yeah, we're gonna make an FPGA first, and then we're gonna make an ASIC. Twitter took away my blue check mark. Fuck Twitter. Make it work with weird size manuals.
tiny rat is the perfect amount of grab. Um, we need some counters. Well, let's first get Big Mammals working, and we'll work on some instrumentation. We have a special reg file called zero. Copying that from Risk Boys. Nah, it's eating time. We got likes. Oh man, we got likes. We got we got three replays. Yo, let's go. Let's go. This guy wants some free cheap ETH. So your load and store could just be one line slice assignments. I believe so, yes. If you write that correctly. If you'd have to like get the right reshape. I mean, <coughs> we can also make an argument. Like we could say that you put like stride x times stride y times 32 here. We might actually want to do it like that. And then I think I can do it with one liners. That's what's like, yeah. No, maybe that's not what I want. Should we just make it a 32 by 32? And then everything's one, two, one or two, four. Is there any time I actually need 16? It could just be easier to think about. I don't like the asymmetry. Right, and like we have like weights low and weights high. Yeah, I don't really like that. And that's a small, wait, no, that's larger than Tesla's. It's considerably larger than Tesla's. Tesla did 96 by 96. I mean, I just don't like thinking about it like it's asymmetrical, you know? 
I mean, the only thing we could do is make it 16 by 16. This is what the this is the, the the guy I'm working with suggested. Like he knows a lot more about hardware than me, so maybe there's some reason that like it can't be bigger. But no, I hate it. So we're gonna we're gonna change it to 32 by 32. It's like a big 32 by 32 matrix multiplier. Yeah, just because I don't want to deal with the asymmetry, and I don't want to deal with these stupid two mammal weights. Deal with the strides being different. I'm not doing any of that. I keep the programming model simple. Sorry, hardware people. We keep the programming model simple. 1024. Oh, that's a nice number. You know? Let me get rid of this stupid H stack. Kind of thing that's very cheap to do in Python right now, but like we'll actually not be able to build that hardware. Well, but that's gonna be a wild amount of flops, you know. Sixty-four tops. Like now it's symmetrical, which is nice. Like the two strides represent the same thing, which I just, I just fundamentally like. Gotta remember that I don't do it for the people. What did all? What were all those people saying, man? Useless people. I see a lot of people got timed out. Raffle some meat. Fuck off, man. You know, people like you are why I don't stream. You, bro. No, but it's like it's not worth my time, right? Like that's the problem. Uh, smart people are quiet. Yeah. All right. Okay. So our Matmul engine now only supports a thirty-two by thirty-two matrices, right? Like our Matmul, our Matmul call. But this is something like, um, you know, this will be compiled to risk five. That's the instruction set, risk five, what do you think? Uh, so like now if I like break this and I like make it 33, oh, we're done, done.
it's, that's more than Tesla, isn't it? Yeah. They're running their MPUs at two gigahertz. Like the question is only like, are we gonna be able to actually like saturate that? stupider when it's these like one by things for us to be using this like super powerful uh thing so, like here look at this one by one comp right? like it's it's stuff's gonna fully utilize it I think it becomes a lot that that first one's multiplied by batch size too so for training this is gonna be less of a problem it wouldn't even help like the weight matrixes We also need the MAPMO instruction needs to take in a mask. <coughs> so I think we could at least use less power. Should I just do the hard work of supporting things that are... not uniform? Yeah, okay, fine. We'll go back. Oh, I hate that though. It's like loads and like the weights, the high and low. That's so slow, you know? the data path how big nineteen forty six is that like too insane that's how many bits it would be That's just like way too many bits. Oh no. Maybe not, maybe it's just like one. Does anyone know this? Yo, and thank you for gifting a sub. If you gift a sub, you can ask a question. That many MLPs.
I mean, 32 by 32 might not even be a good choice. I just don't like the idea of like the weights and the input being different. They really should be like the same thing. It like has to like you have to do two loads, you know, to like the number of loads per map mall goes up. Can you explain what the matrices are? Um, so neural networks uh, at the core are basically just matrix multiplies and nonlinearities. So yeah, it, it's just the matrices, matrices that you multiply for, for neural networks. Um, they have like stupid names for them, like, oh, it's a multi-layer perceptron. Um, but that's what the matrices are. So if you can build an engine that multiplies matrices quickly, uh, you're most of the way to building a neural network accelerator chip. Yeah. I don't know. Thirty-two by thirty-two on the map models. Maybe that's right. Donut Central, you didn't gift a sub. Why do you get to ask a question? Yeah, I don't like, you know, stupid in video with their asymmetrical crap. We could potentially also go down to 16 by 16, which would give us eight tops per core. These people are doing the image transformers. They made some that were, did they make eight by eight? Let's just assume we're doing um, let's go 32 or 32. We can't we can't we can't dwell forever on this decision. We can always change it later. But this is easier and you know if we're kind of trying to keep it simple, that's probably the best way to do it. Okay. Uh, for I'm like do I have my X and Y's backwards? I think I do. This. How do I write this tiled matrix multiplier? Let's think about it. Okay. Oh, so the other thing too is I actually think we want this to be an accumulate.
target. I'm gonna call them rank. Right, because they're effectively registers. Like now that we've made a move instruction, they're definitely registers. Uh, so first we're gonna move into the output, we're gonna move zero. Um, and then we wanna like, okay. So think about what matrices are, right? We got like this one to chomp through and this one to chomp through and then we store that up there. So, Uh, we have MKN, let's just make these capital MKN, and I can iterate through with MKN. Uh, so we're gonna say for N is range, uh, should I not put, should I not type 32 everywhere? That's kind of parameterizable. Uh, for M, in range M size. Uh, for N, in range N size. For K, in range K size. So we're gonna do, this is where we're putting the move zero. This is where we're putting loads and mammals. And then this is where we put the store. Keep crying your heart out. We're all gonna die now. We're all gonna die now. Uh, okay, so I think that that's not right. I mean, we want to, okay. Well, we know that stride y is, okay, when you think about the layout of these matrices, uh, k is m by, x is m by k, y is k by, N. That's true. Uh, okay, so for stride Y, then we want big K. And then if we have a. Uh, plus k plus m times k, I think that's right. And for slot one, it's k by n, so we have k times n plus n, and then our Stride Y is going to be uh, N, I think. Is that right? And here we're going to save it in M times N plus N. Out is M by N. Uh, it's not map mole zero, it's just zero. Doesn't work. Okay. Oops. 
wrong. Alright, let's just model, let's just print these out. That's not right. Oh, no, this is definitely not right. Uh, we want to add K here. But is that right? No, so it's K by N. So we're iterating through K, we want K times N, is that right? We want k times n plus n. We want that. Yeah, is that more right? Did it work? No, it's wrong, but we're getting closer. Most of the numbers look kind of right. Where I got wrong? Is that all right? So we march across there, we march down there, we're multiplying them, we're accumulating them. Oh, is that not? I don't need that. I mean, it actually shouldn't matter, but I still don't need it. Going uh, down there. That's right. And we multiply like those two chunks. Accumulate it, and those two chunks, and accumulate it, and those two chunks, and accumulate it, and those two chunks, and accumulate it, and just okay, and then, and then we store that out in m times n plus n. That's not right. Do you guys see what I'm doing wrong? Debugger is going to help me. Like, I don't think the Python code's wrong. Is it possible I'm not zeroing it out? Am I zero broken? Or do I have something fundamentally wrong in my algorithm? We're striding y by k, and over there we're striding by n, which is right, and the x's just go across.
Okay. Uh, you know what's cool? I think for size, we can just can I just make this four now, right? That's gonna take forever, but um, we should actually be able to like look at them and like think about and reason on this size, right? Size four, and I'll just make it size two. Dynamic should apply, right? Okay, cool. Um, Those. Is my store possibly wrong? Oh. Damn it. There you go. I forgot my stride and my store. That seems like just numerical error. Let's say R tall E minus six. Cool. Um, let's try to size size four. What are we doing before? 256. So that's eight. Cool. And then we can up our size back to 32. Great. Yeah, matrix multiplication. Don't try one that's uneven size. Pulling points are terrible. Ninjinji J Tag, thank you for, for, for moderating. How many viewers we got? We got a lot of viewers? It's a link to my SoundCloud. Get on this with the likes, boys. Um, all right, let's just write something quickly to track these. Okay, Python. You, know, you guys think I know how to program? I just Google it every time. How do I write a decorator? tools.
other thing. Okay, need some underscores. Take forever. Takes forever. This is a one or two four of our one to four matrix. I'm gonna figure out how quickly it uh, multiplies it eventually. All right. So it's point. We can do one or two fours by one or two fours in that many US. Is that good? I don't know if that's good. Well, that assumes no pipelining also. That assumes every instruction just takes one cycle, which isn't exactly true. US and ultra second. It's a microsecond. Well, why don't they just use M? Because Millie already took it. Don't, don't you guys know science? <coughs> Who knows science? Yo, who wants chicken tenders? Or tea or reset? The rest of the stream is brought to you by Recess. You want to drink soda that costs $5 a can? Drink Recess. Alright, who wants to pick some weird numbers? Forty-seven is a weird size. 
19 is a weird size. 19 is a weird, no, well, it shouldn't be 19. 79 and 12. I shouldn't do 12, 42. All right, good. It doesn't work yet. So like, we have to like mask things. I like the idea, I think, of using masks more than using padding and RAM. Because a lot of people like using padding and RAM, and then, like, you have a bad time. Like, you're just like, oh, well, why don't we just make sure that all the matrices stored in RAM are 32 by 32? And then, like, you're, like, dealing with that forever. using masks mean? You ever wear a mask on your face? Well, you're an idiot, but if you put masks in your coat, sometimes that's good. Oh, blanket. Oh, blanket's nice. Who else likes blanket? All right, let's just like make a few more parameters for these called like, well, I'm decorated. Let's say like when, why. They're not really masks, they're lengths. Yo. You sick of listening to this song yet? Yeah. No, buddy, that's right. You still listen to our repeat all the time. that I don't need a mask on because the rest are zeros. Yo, you know why it sounds good? Because Big Head and Monzo produced it. This why it sounds good.
Yo, if you think those are double vocals, try like 7x vocals. Apparently this is what you do. You just stack the vocals a ton of time. That's how little peep sound is so good. Stack them a ton of time. Stack them, stack the vocals. Uh, oh, we can't do that. Mm. Yeah, only the load needs to do that, right? And then actually, you know what's cool? I don't need zero anymore, and I don't need move anymore. Don't need to get rid of move. Instead of move, we'll just do a load into matmo output slot zero, but we'll set the length y. Oh no, you can't make them zero. Never mind. I'm sure moving will someday be useful. It's a good function to have. Just have the zero register. Cool. The reason that you can't put zero in for those length parameters is because I'm going to encode them as five bits in the instruction. I don't even know. I want them to come from registers. Damn it. Maybe I don't. But you see what I mean? If if you can uh if you mask on the loads and stores, I don't even think you have to mask on the on the matrix. Let's produce my big head, boys. This is right, isn't it? I mean, it's gonna be very slow, but. even doesn't even work anymore. Which doesn't really make sense. Oh, first off, this shouldn't be 32. We shouldn't have any 32. This should be size. But I think size is 32 now, so I don't think that's the problem. Okay, uh, K minus K. Why is that ever wrong? Looks okay to me.
Wait, they're literally all 32. Why doesn't it work? How did I break the old one? Boys, what did I do? Oh, no shit. Okay, at least I didn't break that one anymore. The uneven ones don't work. They should work though. Oh, um, no. All right, let's go back to tiny size. And let's try a three by three. Well, actually, let's just have one more test. Called small. Small doesn't work. Why didn't small work? Let's do that, right? Understand why small is multiple matrices. Oh, it's not that small. Let's make size four. No, it works if size is four. It does not work if size is two. Why not? Seems right. <laughs> Who talks like that? Increases productivity. Like I'm some industrial revolution ass machine, you know? Who talks like that? Did your mama teach you how to talk like Yeezy taught me? You know that song? Yeezy taught me. Yeah. Who taught you how to talk like that? Just asking noob questions. Um, why doesn't this work? Yo, the other thing that we're gonna do, who's sick of seeds being wrong? There we go, that's a good seed. 1337 is the leadest seed. So we all don't know the 1337, and that's elite seed. We're all trying to use non lead seeds. What's wrong? What'd I do? What'd I do? Okay, if I'm multiplying a three by three matrix, it's really the same thing as multiplying like four by four matrices that just have zeros, right? 
Is that wrong? Am I making a wrong assumption here? Okay, zero, 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 two. Uh, what's wrong? Okay, we're loading that from there. We're loading that from there. That's good. And here we load this from here and here. Why is that loaded? We load these two into here. You know what make this easier? Why don't I use normal matrices? Those are pretty cool matrices, don't you think? So how we're loading three, four, which is not right. What do I want to be loading there? And I'm loading minus seven. Okay, so what do I want to? It's like accumulating in the top row, right? Plus you design this on paper first, right? Paper. Yeah. Uh, I, is there anything else I want to accumulate? Yes, there is. This top chunk. Totally wrong. Um, I feel like the strides are wrong. Okay, load well, those two. And then okay, what I want to load there is three and six, and what I want to load there is seven and minus eight. So maybe this is backwards? Or maybe I shouldn't be guessing and should be thinking. No, but guessing's so fun. Thinking is less fun. Three, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's what we want. Probably got the store on the road too. I don't exactly understand why this is true, but you know, easy talk. 
Easy talk. All right, cool. Why think when you can guess? Thinking is overrated. Guessing, on the other hand. Guessing is for winners. Yeah! Guessing is for winners! That's what I'm going to call this commit. Guessing is for winners. Look, we just guessed, and then it worked. Um, stride Y, stride X. Yeah, who knows? We guessed, and it worked. Love guessing. It's for winners, I heard. So now we can do uneven mammals, small mammals, and even mammals. Wow, this is this is a pretty good this is a pretty good thing. This is a pretty good thing we got going on here. You know, this is a, this is a pretty good uh, a risk processor. Look, look at how few instructions it used. Whoa, 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 this isn't a branch. This isn't a hot part of official tiny bad. I wouldn't defile tiny bad like this. Um, and there's definitely ways to write like code like that efficiently. So even though the Python's not that efficient, there's definitely ways to write it efficiently. All right, cool. Guys, we can do map models now in a, in a proper model of this processor. All right, now we just have to implement everything else. Can we implement three by three columns using this instruction set? Huh. We don't actually need fully strided. We should have a function called transpose, which transposes the internal matrix. Actually, I could probably do it with just the map mall instruction, you know? I mean, I find it interesting that like all my stride x's so far have been one. If we can make stride x always one, I think that's helpful. I don't really know why, but I think it's helpful. What's also interesting is those things don't necessarily have to be parameters to the loader. Though it probably use less power if they were. We're still doing the whole matrix multiply every time, which also burns power. We can always make it small, but. Cool. Pretty happy with that as today's stream. What else we got? We got non-stupid question time. But yeah, you get kind of where we're going with this with this machine. Um, so this is like risk five code. So we can like write other things. Like we can write comms in this language. We can figure out what we want our, our basic uh, things to be. I don't know. I feel like we still might use stride X. So let's not count stride X yet. Anywhere. Risk five. Is that what we should call the instruction set? Yeah, yeah, risk five. Oh, all right, cool. I'm sold. I'm sold, Mayfield. I'm sold. You still have that VIP check mark, so you know you get influence. Can you run this on an SI5 machine? If they. Better.
Um, all right. Here we go. Nobody's gonna go out with me. Have you asked anybody yet? No, but who would? I don't even have any good skills. What do you mean? You know, like, nunchuck skills, boat hunting skills, computer hacking skills. Girls only want boyfriends who have great skills. There you go, okay? Does that answer your question about what skills are? Well, I'm sorry, but you should have paid more attention. You're on XV6? What's XV6? Unix version 6. It's a book. Can I get the book? Why is the book, why don't they make a PDF? Oh yes, just do they have releases? How do I convert it to PDF on Windows? I have, I have, to, I have to make this book? Hey, right, fine, fine, do they want me to work hard? I'll work hard. Let's go, let's make a book. Yeah, man, take that, Da Vinci or whoever made old printing presses. You you had to like when you want. Oh, well, okay, never mind. I take it back. I don't have PDF latex. I got. I got. I got. I just got to brew install my printing press here. Hang on, hang on. You got it. You got to move your movable typesets. You know your little little shitty letters. Yeah. Gutenberg, that's the guy. Ah, oh, yeah, Da Vinci. Yeah, I knew it was. Oh, never mind. I can't make a book. Mm. Oh, brew cask install Mac tax. Oh, that sounds like it's going to take a really long time. Brew install basic tax. All right, that sounds faster. Oh, you found it online. Sweet. Mm. What up, boys? You know, you can never see the keyboard on the streams. Try to SSH into cointop.sh. What's cointop.sh? Oh. Ha, <laughs> you eats are worthless. We're all sad about that. Nope, never mind. I gotta restart my terminal. Does this work now? Oh, oh, we're gonna make a book. We're gonna make a book just like Da Vinci. Return. 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 Oh, never mind. Oh. Never mind, you can't read this book. <laughs> this is hopeless. I give, I give up on book. There was a PDF link if you wanted to read it. Gutenberg! <laughs> Gutenberg! It's a test. I failed. <laughs> it's only for students, clearly. You gotta have a working latex installation. The U.S. had the top university in the world 50 years ago. Now, I think in Harvard, you learn about 46 genders and you learn about, you know, how to like, you know, like, I don't know what else. How to, how to be politically correct in about 46 genders. I think that's what Harvard teaches now. That's what I heard. Uh, so, you know, don't go to Harvard, man. Go to the School of Hard Knocks. Uh, 
Yeah, no, I mean, they just, it, it, they like destroyed, there's a virus and it like destroyed the American university system. I don't know, maybe I'm just biased because uh, MIT didn't let me in. MIT still good? I'm sure parts of it are still good. I'm sure these are the kind of things that like, I don't know, like, mm, I remember like, no, no, it's not gonna work. Uh, yes, like, you know, just about like all like the speech codes at universities and stuff, like it's, it's ridiculous. Um, no, but like uh, this kind of shit happens all the time. We're just going to go through like, you know, 1500 years of dark ages and then like people are going to like rediscover modernism in, in, in 1500 years and be like, wow, those people in the 1950s had it figured out, man. We just needed to like go to space. Yeah, but and build like big pyramids, you know? Why don't we build big pyramids anymore? We could build big pyramids. Nah, we're not in dark ages. We're gonna die listening to the song. Bigger pyramids. Yeah. I wouldn't have been a random ass Microsoft programmer, man. Yo, like school couldn't like, you know. BitConnect University, Harvard, Princeton, and Yale. Um, did any of y'all go to Ivy League schools? Is what I'm saying true? I don't know. Oh yeah, if you're not going to like, like so many of the schools are, are anything like that's like a tear down is such a scam. Yeah, I went to Carnegie Mellon. I started to see some things decline by the time I left in 2014. You know, it's the same, it's the same, yeah. Well, I've heard I've heard European university actually fails people. Like, how could you possibly respect the quality of an education from a school that has a ninety six percent graduation rate? Right? Like, schools brag about their graduation rate. I, I talked about this on now. You know, it's ridiculous. Because all that means is like you know anyone can like like. Okay, so fifty percent of the people go to college now instead of ten, right? And the same number of people graduate. Like, education is not that possible. They made college dumber. It's the same thing with high school. It's like, oh yeah, look at our high school graduation rate. Yeah, you made your high school dumber. Well, if the value of university is to get indoctrinated into an old elite, I have some bad news for the old elite, bro. Your money's fake. Yeah, we need more people need to fail. And only 15% pass. See, I like trust your math degree means something. Dude, stop the drugs. Why do you always want to talk about drugs, man? <laughs> Yo, Macklemore used to sip lean and he wrote Other Side. And then he wrote some, like, you know, song about, like, Nikes or something. We live in a better place if everyone but Atlas shrugged and one of the kids who didn't grew up out of drugs. The world needs a solution, but I doubt it's hugs and peace and stuff that you thought of mollied up. There's your bar.
All right. This was the stupidest part of the stream with the questions. Uh, <laughs> when's my next album? Ooh, Big Head on the beat. When's my next album? I don't know. Uh, but we're working on working on. I hope you guys like Risk Architecture. Uh, I'm gonna like finish implementing stuff for Efficient Net and figuring out how many Risk Five operations it takes to run an Efficient Net. And then if it's not many, and we can also use it to train, I'll be like, whoa, this shit's crazy. And then we'll have to build a chip. Um, but if we do it and it turns out to be a lot, or it turns out to be really painful to implement, we'll be like, yo, maybe NVIDIA is not as overvalued as I thought. So. Uh, do I have an FPGA sitting on my desk? I, I bought this FPGA. Yeah, from RDA7. I mean, this is, I don't think this is gonna fit the thing I want. I think the thing I want's gonna fit in that big, that big FPGA that I linked. I've heard that before about European Museum. Yeah. All right, I hope he'll speak Mandarin, all right? Yeah, I saw someone made the book. Uh, should we do a Risk Five? Should we do a Risk Five uh, CPU on the stream? I'm not, I've never made a CPU. I, I've written a lot of emulators, but I've never actually made like a Verilog CPU. Yeah, I think writing. I think writing a, a little Risk Five is within the realm of like what you can do on an FPGA. Uh, Chris Ladner works there now at, 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 at SI5. SI5 is cool. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe or whatever you gotta do on this platform. Or if I can get a blue check on Twitch, like let's write to the blue check committee. I'll, I'll tell them about how I'm an upstanding citizen and how I saved a puppy from a tree once. I put the puppy in the tree, but we'll leave that part out of the story. Um, everyone take care. Everyone enjoy your weekend.